Hello, and um, today I'm going to be making another C++ tutorial. Uh, my first C++ tutorial, I went over how to set up um, basic uh, C++ setup, including IO stream and namespace STD. So I just went ahead and made that, as well as uh, my main and uh, my return function. So I'm just going to be building upon that right now. So, uh, going on that, I'm now going to start the code, and this uh, tutorial will go over um, declaring integer variables, redeclaring integer variables, doing math with integer variables, and while loops. So, since a lot of this concentrates on integer variables, we're going to need to learn how to uh, declare integer variables, and that's very easy. Uh, my first tutorial, I went over character variables. Um, where you type care and then whatever the name is. In this case, we do int for integer and then whatever it is. We're going to need four, so I'm just going to show you how to do the first one and then just tell you the names of the variables, other three that we need. And I'm going to go over declaring. So you write int space number, then a semicolon. Then we're also going to need a first variable, a second variable, and an answer variable. Alright, so now that we have our four variables, um, gonna go over declaring. Now we only need to declare the first and second because number will be declared by the user and answer will be a combination of first and second. So since we're going to be using all four of them, we need to declare them at some point at some time. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now for first and second. You do that by doing before the semicolon and after first space equals space 1 and for second space equals space 0 so now we have all our declarations in effect and all our variables are working enough so we can actually use them let's use them so first we need to ask the user to give us some more information uh, by giving him some information first so this is the Fibonacci series but more complex it's a customizable Fibonacci series by the user and um, I'm going to be doing the forward slash n after this Fibonacci series sentence which I just did dash Fibonacci series dash to make it look like a main menu type of thing then forward slash n in quotes so we're going to print that on the screen then we're also going to print on the screen C out uh, we're going to don't forget the less than double less than signs then we're going to have uh, enter the amount of numbers you would like. Can I see that? Let me scroll over. Okay. Like uh, question mark forward slash n and parentheses and semicolon. So now we uh, actually told the user what this was, what he should do with it. We need to input the variable so C in greater than greater than sign space then we're gonna put number because that's what we want to do um, I've changed my mind instead of number we're gonna use loop that'll make you understand the code more so go back up to number where it says number and do loop instead it'll just help you understand the code if you don't want to you don't have to but this will just make it a little bit easier so loop and semicolon and then write C out less than less than space one I know no one space sorry and then what the hell is it? Uh, uh, quotation mark and semicolon so now we told the user what this program was about we asked him some information he inputted some information and we print some more stuff on the screen that makes no sense to you whatsoever right now but it will in a second but first we need our while loop now for a while loop in C++ it's very easy just do while and in parentheses you write your argument uh, in this case loop uh, spa uh, no space greater than greater than one now normally you would do zero for this is a case we want to do this loop however many times the user says by inputting loop so normally you do zero so it would be the exact amount but this code kinda had to be modded from its original java version to work in C++ right 
So, um, we're writing the first number that's going to be in the series, and therefore need one number less. So we're going to be doing 1 instead of 0, because what it'll say is when it's equal to 1 and still has one more to go, it'll look to the user like it was a right, because we ended up printing something manually on the screen. So you do not put a semicolon after a while loop. Instead, we're going to need several lines of code, so we do some curly brackets for a block of code to symbolize that. And inside, anything inside that curly brackets will only be executed and will continue to be executed while number is, uh, loop, sorry, loop is greater than 1. So now we need to actually use this information and make a Fibonacci series. So for that we're going to need to use answer equals first plus second. That's right inside our while loop and block of code. And underneath that we're going to now print our new information. C out answer and then do another thing, another double less than, and in quotes, put quote, space, quote, semicolon. And then you're good, because that'll make sure that the answers aren't all jumbled together. Uh, there's a space in between, so it's really easy to read. Now that we actually did our functionality part, we need to make sure it's a looping program, and we need to change the values of first and second and loop. Because loop, if it keep saying with the user inputs, it'll just keep looping and looping forever. So we need to make sure that loop decreases in value. So we're going to put loop equals loop minus 1. Semicolon and enter. And that's all good. So that'll mean every time a uh, loop goes, it'll go minus 1 and restart the loop until it keeps minusing down enough until it reaches what the user wanted and will stop. So now that we have that loop done, we c and it's a functioning loop, we need to change the information in the loop first and second. So we need to do it in this order. It's very important it's in this order. Second equals first, all right, and first equals answer. And sir, okay, got it. Cause uh, I'll explain it more how what the Fibonacci series is when I actually run the program. Actually, you know, I can do it now. It takes the last two numbers and make adds them to make a third number, which explains answer equals first plus second. But now second is first, so it's the second number, and first is answer, which is the first number. So we're basically kind of shifting which one's first and second so we can get the correct answer, and it'll keep going on and building upon itself. So now that we have this, this is our completed while loop. So now, uh, in the first tutorial I showed you what a problem can be if you don't pause the program and just end it you can't really see it so we need to pause it and in order to make it look nice we need to put a little effect in there see out double less than uh, quote forward slash and quote semicolon that'll help it make it look nice then we're gonna do system in parentheses and quotes pause semicolon and that's it. So now it's going to pause the program until you hit a key and the C out makes it so it isn't all jumbled together and this is a completely working program. I'll go ahead and run it now for you and um, compiling, linking come on okay here we go. Alright so Fibonacci series kind of looks nice like a menu. Enter the amount of numbers you would like. Well, I'm just going to do five and you can see it does 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So now we have it so that it goes on and on forever. If I wanted to run this program again, which I will, and I'll do 10, you can see it goes on and on, and it goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 15, and it will go on and on and on forever. Uh, if you want to do 100, you can. You just got to wait for the result. And that's basically it. So this tutorial basically, like I said, went over while loops, integer variables, uh, declaring them, redeclaring them, using them in math, and basic input and output. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section or PM me. And uh, please comment on this video.